Looking up at the sky on a clear night and seeing the Milky Way stretch across the darkness is like standing at the edge of an endless ocean. It feels close, almost within reach. But the truth is, what our eyes see is only a tiny glimpse of a universe so vast that our minds struggle to grasp it. Today, let's take a journey through scale, from our little planet Earth to the unimaginable size of the observable universe, and see where we truly fit into this cosmic story. Earth, our small blue home, has a circumference of about 40,000 kilometers. For a long time, people thought it was the center of everything, the stage on which the universe revolved. But science showed us something far more humbling. We live on a spherical rock orbiting an ordinary star, on the edge of a galaxy filled with billions of suns. And that galaxy itself is only one among billions more. Take the moon, our closest neighbor. It feels like it's just up there in the night sky. But in reality, it's about 384,000 kilometers away. To put that into perspective, you could line up all the planets of our solar system in the gap between Earth and the moon. When Apollo astronauts made that journey, they crossed an immense void squeezed into a capsule no bigger than a car. And yet that short hop is nothing compared to what lies beyond. Now think about Mars, the red planet that has fueled so much imagination. On average, Mars is about 220 million kilometers away from Earth. That's more than 570 times farther than the moon. Even messages sent at the speed of light take between 12 to 20 minutes to travel between Earth and Mars. And if you wanted to go there in a spacecraft, you'd be looking at about a nine-month journey just to reach our neighboring planet. Further out, Neptune, the most distant planet in our solar system, lies over 4 billion kilometers from Earth. Few human-made machines have ever reached such distances. The Voyager probes are among them. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, is now the farthest human-made object from Earth, more than 24 billion kilometers away. It even took the famous pale blue dot photo, showing Earth as a tiny speck barely visible, suspended in a beam of sunlight. That image reminded us just how fragile and small our world really is. But even Voyager hasn't left the solar system if we define it by the sun's gravitational reach. Beyond the planets lies the Oort cloud, a vast shell of icy bodies stretching up to two light years from the sun. Voyager, moving at over 17 kilometers per second, would take thousands of years just to cross it. And yet, the Oort cloud itself is still only the beginning. The nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, is 4.2 light years away. That might sound close, but with today's technology, it would take tens of thousands of years to reach it. Our sun, bright and powerful as it seems to us, would be invisible to the naked eye from just 60 light years away. That's barely a step on the galactic map. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is about 100,000 to 200,000 light years across and holds hundreds of billions of stars. The stars we see on clear nights are just a tiny fraction of them. Beyond the Milky Way, there are galaxies everywhere spiral, elliptical, irregular, arranged in clusters, filaments, and webs that span hundreds of millions of light years. Zooming out further, we find ourselves in a supercluster of galaxies known as Laniakea, stretching 500 million light years across. And beyond that, there are structures so immense they defy imagination, with galaxies forming patterns across billions of light years. Altogether, the observable universe spans about 93 billion light years in diameter. That's the limit of what we can see because the light from anything beyond hasn't had time to reach us yet. And still, most scientists believe the universe is far larger than what we can observe, possibly infinite. That means what we see is just one small patch of a much bigger reality. So, where do we fit in? One planet orbiting one star in one galaxy among hundreds of billions. It might sound small, but it's also extraordinary. In a brief instant of cosmic time, Humans have learned to look outward, to measure distances, to send machines across the solar system, and to capture faint light from galaxies billions of years away. The atoms that make us, iron in our blood, calcium in our bones, oxygen in our breath, were forged in stars long before the Earth was born. We are literally stardust, and through us the universe has become aware of itself. That's not small, that's monumental. So the next time you look at the night sky, remember those tiny points of light are suns, some with planets, maybe even with life. We are part of this vast story, a species capable of asking questions, of imagining, of reaching, and maybe the best way to measure the universe isn't by how far it stretches, but by how much wonder it fills us with. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's so much more to explore together. See you next time.